Hello, my name is Carla Hernandez, and this is my video interview for Collegiate High School. What do you hope to get from your experience here at Collegiate? I feel the Collegiate experience will help prepare me to have confident interactions with my college professors, which I feel is important at this level of my education. I currently attend Collegiate Academy, and at my former schools, I've always felt like I've never been able to talk to my teachers or have the courage to speak to them one-on-one. -on -one. But now that I've been at Collegiate, I feel that that's grown, the, the power to do that has grown in me, and I feel like at the high school, it'll grow even more. Give an example of a time you showed great commitment to something. How did you do it? In the beginning of my tenure with Collegiate Academy, I struggled in some classes due to the advanced level of education in comparison to my former schools. I overcame this identified issue by committing myself to studying every day, going to tutorials, talking to teachers about what I was struggling with, and doing everything I could so that I could reach the collegiate level that I felt comfortable with. At my prior schools, I was a straight-A student. My whole life I've been a straight-A student. Then when I came to collegiate, uh, I got my first C. And I was in seventh grade, and it, it bothered me so much, but I realized that the school's uh, level of education is just so much higher. And it did take me a while to adapt to it, but now I feel that I'm ready to move forward with the level of education because it could help me. When did you set a goal you did not reach? How did you handle it? Give examples. Gym at Collegiate Academy requires every student to run a mile under 12 minutes in order to remain on track for a maximum 100% grade. In the seventh grade, I struggled to be able to run a full mile, yet alone meet the mile at the 12 minute mark requirement. My initial goal was to be able to run a mile. I was able to meet that halfway through the year. My next goal was to run the mile at below the 12 minute mark. I was unsuccessful and the lowest I was able to get my time down to was 13.23. Although I did not reach my goal in the seventh grade, I have kept my dedication towards that goal and a year later am now able to run the mile below 11 minutes. You know, now thinking about it, even the physical education part of collegiate is at a higher level than my former schools but I learned that I had to take small steps to reach my goal. When you feel a teacher, professor, is treating you unfairly, how do you handle it? My first step would be to approach my teacher, professor, directly to socialize my opinions, to make them aware of how I feel, and hopefully work towards an agreed resolution to that particular issue. Regardless if the outcome is resolved or not, I would then let my parents know what was discussed to gain their point of view, which I feel will help build my interaction skill. My parents are my third party perspective and any further escalations would involve them at this point in my life. Going back to the first question, I feel that it's really important to talk to my teachers, whether it's a good situation or a bad situation, to work on getting any situation resolved. In conclusion, on top of everything that was said in the presentation, I'm extremely grateful for the opportunity to remain in this collegiate program. Initially, I did struggle, but now I'm able to say that I'm very proud of my GPA. I'm also proud of being a part of student council for the last two years. Last year being historian, this year vice president. Being a part of student council, I have been involved in many school events, which I'm also very proud of. But the thing that I'm most excited for is to have the opportunity to obtain my associate's degree two years early, which I feel will give me a head start for life. Once again, thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed my presentation, and I look forward to hearing from you soon.